Okay everybody, this video will be on how to test a car alternator and uh, this is a brand new alternator and I'm gonna test it with a bulb and I'm gonna use one of these to make it rotate and uh, let me tell you about the wiring so I got my battery here, it's a 12 volt battery which is a bit on the charge, 11.02 and that battery red wire is connected to B plus and then black wire from the battery will be connected to the casing to the exterior shielding of the alternator but at the same time I got my multimeter plugged black on the negative and red on the positive of the battery so that's why it's giving me the reading and at the same time I got the bulb the bulb is also plugged positive to B plus and negative of the bulb is connected to D how is it called? D plus so positive to B plus negative to D plus as soon as I plug the negative from the battery to the casing the bulb lights up and my voltage decreases a little bit to 1044 now I'm gonna spin the alternator and if it is okay it should produce a, cord, a charge that would turn the light off and increase my voltage so let me check Okay. As you've seen, when it rotates, the bulb goes off and the voltage increases from, from 10.3 to about, to about 10.9. Yeah. And it is only going to 10.9 because this uh, drill does not rotate the alternator with uh, enough speed to make it produce more charge and completely turn off the, the bulb but as you've seen the bulb goes a lot weaker almost shuts down completely and the voltage increases so this means the alternator is good and discharging I had done this before with a different alternator and I was induced into error I was induced into error because I used a different system to rotate the alternator also with the drill but not with that key I got now I was using a, a rubber uh, belt and it did not rotate quick enough and due to that the bulb did not shut down and I thought the alternator was not okay when it was but in this case right now you can see and the wiring is exactly the same as in that previous video that you can also find in my channel but don't do like that one, do it like this. Positive from the battery goes to B+, plus. negative from the battery goes to the casing, then the bulb is connected, the positive of the bulb also on B+, plus and the negative on D+, plus. and multimeter, positive and negative on the battery to give you readings, I'm gonna do it once again, rotating this, voltage goes up, the bulb goes out. Okay, now I'm doing the same thing but with an old alternator and the connection is basically the same. From the battery positive to B+, plus, from the battery negative to the casing, to the shielding, it's here. This one, see it? Then from B+, plus to the positive on the bulb and the negative on the bulb going to D plus which in this one is a connection you got here inside because this one was from a fourth you got three pins that's the smallest pin you got inside the connector it's giving me 10.9 let me just get a, pr a good connection okay I got a good connection there the bulb is on now I'm gonna rotate the thing
as you see the bulb shuts down and the voltage increases it is at 1034 it's gonna go up to about 11 and the bulb will shut down okay so this means that these two alternators are uh, pretty much okay so uh, that's how you test an alternator on the bench but don't do the mistake I did earlier which is using a power source that does not rotate the alternator with speed uh, with a constant speed which is enough to make it shut the bulb off because that might induce you into error as it happened to me okay